soon. Welcome to another lovely week. Was missing you for two days, but yes, bang with another lovely batch of a week with all of you. I am Vinod James. Welcome to Neetu's Academy Reading Live. How are you all? How was your two days? Did you relax? What did you do? As always, busy studying, 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 studying with along with the, you know, what do you call uh, job in hand? Yes? Or were you relaxed, calm and composed, took a bit of time? Yeah, you should always take a bit of time as well, okay? Can't just tax yourself too much. Right. Nice to see all of you back in front of me. Okay, so, Nikos Academy has always been there for you, will be there for you, as always. Okay, now what are the things that we do for all of you? We give you training for a lot of linguistic exams that you want. Ullas Jo, sir, good evening. Very good evening to all of you. And it's, it's always nice to see some profound names all the time. You know, when they come, it's, it's always something that boosts the energy because of the lovely support that you all give us. Good. So, as I mentioned, Nikos Academy offers you an array of linguistic exam training. If you are unaware of, please do not hesitate to contact the number. They'll be happy to assist you and we'll let you know what are the things and what can be of benefit to you. Joji Joseph, good afternoon. Kalei, good afternoon. Kalei Muldeves, Danya Jens, good afternoon. Softy Stephen, good afternoon. Jinsi George, good afternoon. Happy to see you as well. Okay, it's, it's so nice to see all of you eagerly waiting. As soon as we open up the live, you're all there. So what else could we ask for, isn't it? Shiji, good evening. Rishika, good evening. Vijisri, good evening. A very, very, very good evening to all of you. Ramya Sanish, good evening. Sorry, good afternoon. Vijay, good afternoon. Right, is there anybody who's attending for the live the very first time? Please do let me know that you're attending for the first time. Why? Because there are a number of students who are like really our patrons who are there all the time supporting us. So because of their share in their social media platform, most of you would have seen that and then you are joining. So they should never fail. Sorry, they should never feel that because the share is not reaching anywhere. Because of their share, this is how we are. Raji Manish, good afternoon. Softi, how am I? I'm doing good, Softi. Thank you very much for asking. How about you? Feba, good evening. Preeti Shahji, good afternoon. Shakila Banu, Saudi, good afternoon. Few names that I remember with good days. Yeah, I'm sorry, I can't remember all the names. I mean, where you're from. Shibu Samuel, good afternoon. Tiji Babu, good afternoon. Excellent. So if you're new, now why I keep on asking whether you're new, you're new. Jovita Thomas, good afternoon. Because we do have few places where we keep on updating you with all the things that Vinitus Academy has in stores for you. We have two Telegram pages and we'll be pinning that page. One is an official Nitus Academy Telegram page and the other one is an exclusive Nitus Academy reading Telegram page. See, so both are free group, but if you want to join reading Telegram, we have a scrutinizing policy. That's because you have to understand there are n number of fraudulent people available who are here with some other unethical thing. So if they contact you, please ignore, please block them. We are telling straight where we have pinned the both group and the other is we have a Neetus Academy WhatsApp channel which you have just started. So if you are not yet joined, please do join. That's just for mutually beneficial. One, it shows the support. You are there, you know, whatever that we are initiating new. And the other one is you will not miss any of the important insight that we are going to give you. Sandhya Vishnu, good afternoon. Albini George, good afternoon. Jinsi Arun, good afternoon. So if you have not yet joined, please do join. All are free. There is nothing that you have to be uh, worrying about because there is no charge incurred. And we will not ask you anything on the aspect to join our uh, Telegram pages. Please do pay. If somebody is asking you, be aware that's not from us. Okay, because we, when we want to say something, we'll come and openly tell that to you. Because we have only, you know, like a number of courses that we have done. Mumthis, hi, good afternoon. Jibi Wagis, good afternoon. 
So if you want any any insights about any of those uh, exams and how it is and which one, what are the things that is beneficial for you, please do not hesitate to contact. They will be happy to assist you. Okay, there are there are exams where you know some students might not be aware of. So if you are one amongst them, you contact them and they will be able to give you a guide on the aspect of which can be beneficial for you. Manju Merita, good afternoon. Saudi, good, good, good. Right. So what are the things that we have? As I've mentioned, we have different exam trainings that we give. And then on top of that, we have few free classes that we offer. One, I come on a weekly basis. That means Monday to Friday, I come with my reading. Neetu Madam comes in every fortnight with a new case note, writing depiction case note. So do join so you will not miss. And every day, in all these um, places which I've told you, we are giving you grammar challenges which ensure that you are grammarly updated. Okay, I'm just uh, sorry what I said, grammarly updated. Manju Sudish, good afternoon. Jaya George, everyday life class time. The very same time that you are popping in. 3 p.m. Indian time. Right. Selva, Shiva, Selva Kumar. Good afternoon, dear Hatsur. Good afternoon to you, Selva. He comes up always with some great uh, add-ons. Good afternoon. Rosmi Jomi, good afternoon. Danya Sivi, good afternoon. So as our students have already piled up, let's see. Are you all ready for today's session? If so, give me a quick thumbs up. Let me see how many of you are ready. All of you ready? Yes? No? I hope when you're entering, please do enter with the appropriate printout of the part, is, part A, which you have already circulated, yeah? Right, I could see a lot of roast me, Joe me ready. All right, good enough. Namita Joseph, good afternoon. So there are a few names where there is, you know, no icon next to it. If you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe. If you have not yet liked our page, please do like our page. If you have not yet followed, please do follow. It's the only gesture that we expect all of you is the support that you have rendered so far. If you have not yet joined, please do show. Because when you post your channel, when you post this, you know, on your uh, social media platform, that shows that whatever that I am doing on the aspect of class. You are finding it beneficial because you will not share something which you don't find beneficial, isn't it? So if you feel that, yes, it is beneficial, please do not hesitate to share on the screen. I mean, your uh, social media platform. Jobita ready, Rishika ready, Jinsi George ready, Simi ready, Shiji Bharatan ready, Feba ready, Jaya George ready, Anju Jobin ready, Manju Marita, yes, Softy Stephen ready, Ashwati ready, Ramya ready, Danya ready, Grace ready, Selva always. Sunita, good afternoon. How am I? I'm doing good, Sunita. Thank you very much for asking. I hope you and all of you are doing excellent. You know, and what else could we ask for? When you show us such a kind of great support, always there, couldn't we ask for more? No way. Saranya ready, Sobi ready, Jibi ready, Namita ready, Saranya, Viji Sri, all ready. So as you all said, you are all ready. Your part B is what we will be starting first. The part B question will be popping up on the screen. As soon as the question pops up, do not waste your valuable time. Do it. Tell yourself, okay, let it be my exam material. That's how you practice. Okay, there will be a timer, of course, and you clock in on or before the time. Okay, and once you, are, once you have found the answer, don't write the answers. Just tell me, by an icon, either a thumbs up or say done. There you have the question. Please do and then we'll discuss.
Okay, time I'm just go on. it just goes very quickly, isn't it? It doesn't stop whenever we need as well. So even though there were there are few who have said have done, Shivatirtha, good afternoon. Shiji was the first person to say done. Tina Agnes done. Jobita done. Manju Marita done. Rishika done. Right, Bijishri done. Good enough, I can see. Shakila Dan. Danya Dan. Raji Manish Dan. Kale. Big para. Yes, of course, we have given you for a reason because when we tell you to start reading, you don't have reading as a habit, is it? So we thought, okay, why don't you? Why don't we let yourself read a bit? Suzuma, yes, I saw. Good afternoon, a bit late. No worries, as long as you're there. Happy. Softy done, Feba done, Jinsi George done, Jibi done, Rosemi done. See again, see, we are practicing, isn't it? You always have to take it in that account. See, when you're practicing, we want to make sure that you're getting exposed to the word of language. That's all. Mumtha is done. Joji Joseph done. Okay, even though there was not much of the people who have said done, but still there are a few who have said done. Right, before going into, would you be kind enough to tell me what is your answer and where you got that answer from? That where is very important. Abida, good afternoon. Shakila C from Middle Para. Okay, the first answer C. Okay. How about others? I want all of you to let me know what are the answers that you've got. Let it be whatever A, B, C. Because all those three are possible, isn't it? Danya B. Okay, now I have A, C, and B. Shiji Bharatin from fourth line. Krishnendu done. Okay, fair enough. Kalei option C from the end of the para. Fair enough. Pebbas Roman C. Okay, fair enough. Roast me C from last pair. Huh? So I have C and B. Say so one all of you. Manjumarita C. Okay. Mumtis C. Ajmi C. Okay. Tina B from middle part of the pair. Okay. Vijishri C. Okay, Simi Nibu, C from last para, Jobita, B from the whole para, okay, fair enough. Jibi is C. Joji Joseph, C from last para, Raji Mani, C from last para, Atulya Jio, C middle para, okay. Jinsi George, C from last para, okay, last part, sorry. Right, so it's a mix of B and C, is that? Nobody else have any other answers? Okay. Now because you've told me, I know that not all of you have said, but see, the whole reason why we ask you to comment. See, let it be right, let it be wrong. I have never told you which is right, nor, because B and C are mentioned, isn't it? So, do not Rishika see from middle para. What you have to always remember is the world out there is for people who grab the opportunity. Understood? That's a very important message that I can tell you. It's about the sooner you grab the opportunity, the better for you. Mark my words. That's how life is about. So when an opportunity is given for you to say whatever, you voice your uh, answers. Stand by your answer, saying, okay, I got this. We will never find an answer thinking that um, it is wrong, isn't it? We will never do that. So if you if you don't have that, you know, like standing by your answer, have the guts to say, yeah, I got A. I got it from here. Let it be. Learning is a process not by only telling right answers alone. Learning is a process. You tell the wrong answer and you get corrected. Then you rectify. That's the process of learning. KSK is Reshma, no? Sharanya B. 
Okay. Even though not, not much of the response have come. Now let's see what are the things that we have to do. So part B comes after part A. They take the material of part A, then they'll give you B and C together. And total you have 45 minutes of which you're expected to take only 10 to 12 minutes for part B. Why? It's smaller one. Okay. Roughly about 100 to 150 words. You know, this kind of big para. You feel it big para because you've just reduced the, um, you know, box and all. See, there are, there are things you have to always remember psychologically. What is the first thing that you see? Oh my God, this is too big. If you have to enlarge that box, you would feel the different thing. This is where the psychology is. Okay. Option B, para, fourth and fifth one. Okay, para not talking. Now, what is the first and the foremost thing that you have to do when you're doing part B? First thing, you do Shama Shankar B. Okay, fair enough. You read the question first. Please understand part B. You're going to read the question, underline the keywords in the question, understand the question. Very, very, very important. After that only, you have two options. You can read the answer option, underline the keywords in the answer option, and then read the paragraph. Or you can read the paragraph and then pick it up from the paragraph. Shiji A. Okay, fair enough. I'm happy that at least, you know, there are students who have that guts to say, I have got this answer and I'll tell that. That's how it should be. Good enough. Now, what are the things? As I mentioned, read the question, underline the keywords of the question. It should be done simultaneously. Don't read the question, then go and underline it. As you're reading, underline the question. And keywords should be stipulated to two words or three words, not about big, big, big sentences. According to the passage, when... It constitutes malpractice. So when malpractice, that is enough for me. Understand, because when I read when malpractice, that means the question is asking you when, whatever that they are going to do, when is it considered as malpractice? Okay, fair enough. I always appreciate students, you know, when they oblige to what has been said, because they know that it is for their benefit. Stunning. Now, I'm a person who would always underline the keywords in the answer option, then I go pick it up from the paragraph. Okay, fair enough. Now see, if breach of duty of a nurse cause no harm to patient, so breach, no harm, I'm, I'm sorry, not patient, okay, duty. Breach duty, no harm. Patient is understood for me, okay, so patient, I would just erase it, okay, because it's not. Now, when a nurse commit omission during, so commit omission during patient care. So during patient care. Now for option C, it clearly says when an action of a nurse causes damage to patient. So action, damage. That's enough. Now when you're doing, after, okay, now I know when is it considered to be malpractice. Is it when the breach of duty causes harm, no harm? Or is it when the nurse commit omission to patient care? Or is it action causes damage to patient? Now, elements of malpractice. Okay. To prove malpractice, all four of the following elements must be proven by the plaintiff. So plaintiff means a person who brings a case against another in the court of law. That's a purely uh, uh, legal word. Yeah. The nurse had a duty to the patient, nurse breached the duty, patient injury occurred and there were casual relationship between the breach of duty and the patient injury. So these are the four elements. Okay, so even if you read this, you can slightly look into the answers, but let's see. Okay, because the nurse had a duty to patient, breached the duty, injury occurred, Casual relationship between breach of duty and patient injury. So, if you really look into, you can eliminate. But if I tell you, then you will start looking into different things. Now, let's go into. Therefore, in determining if malpractice has occurred, because the question is, when is malpractice? Okay. These four elements must be carefully considered. So, the four elements have given you a hint. Now, still now, nothing to give away any of the given options. First, did the nurse have the duty to the patient? This means the nurse was actively engaged in providing nation care, patient care to patient. Okay, so was engaged in the patient care. Second, was there a breach of duty? 
So what is the thing? One, was the nurse actively involved in patient care? Two, did the nurse had a breach of duty? Okay, so breach of duty when say, in other words, did the nurse commit an act or omission? So omission is there. When the nurse commit omission during patient care, it is did the nurse commit an act or omission in the act of taking care of patient and did that act or omission result in the harm? So one I can eliminate why when a nurse commit omission during patient care, it's not the only thing because it has to cause harm to the patient also. Isn't it? So if the breach of duty of nurses cause no harm, it's nowhere, it's a malpractice. But let's see, is it there or not? Okay. So third element, element is proximate cause. This, the question here is whether the action or omission caused any harm to the patient. So no harm straight away. Again, it is confirming saying that it is not no harm. Harm should be there. So that is eliminated. If the action did not result in injury or harm, there was no malpractice. So this is not a malpractice. The question is what is malpractice? Understood why A is eliminated? So A is eliminated for sure. Finally, the fourth element is damage. Okay. So when harm occurred as a result of omission during the delivery of nursing care, a nurse might have a duty to patient commit an action omission during the course of nursing care and it might not constitute malpractice you know, if the action or omission did not result. Okay, when a nurse is not just about committing omission during the care and it should cause harm. So that is why when an action of a nurse, that means omission causes damage to the patient. So C is the right answer which most of you have got it. So people have got C. It's not just omission during that. That omission should cause harm to the patient also. Understood why C is the answer? Kale, keep on dancing even though long. Yes. Any doubts? Any doubts that you want me to clarify? Anything that you're not sure about? Kale, Rishika, all are dancing, enjoying their achievement. Good enough, good enough. Roast me happy. Good enough. Raji. Okay, done. Joji Joseph dancing. Good enough. Simi Nibu dancing. Okay, all are getting great answers. And Manju Merit also is dancing. Good enough. Good enough. Why not? Isn't that you should enjoy your achievement? Good Raji Manish is happy. Saying thumbs up. Softy, yes. Saranya clear. All right. Good enough. Peba, yes. Vinci George happy. Vijishri, yes. Happy. Jibi Vargis, yes, happy. All oh, right, good enough. Right, because I don't see anybody having any doubts. Selva Kumar, clear, okay, fair enough. So, as all of you are saying, Shakila enjoying, good enough. Fiji, yes, clear, very good. So, as you all said that you're all clear, now let's go into the next one. Well, I promise I didn't get time to read till very end, but I was reading. I used elimination. Guess C might be the answer. Thank you. That's what it is. End of the day, this is not an ultimate test to test your knowledge on what you know in your field. It is just a test to tackle your language. Very good. So keep it up. Shama, clear, Abida, yes, okay, fair enough. Now let's go into the next one. What is today's party topic and how you felt about party topic? Please do let me know how you felt about it. Because after this, Nitu Madden will be looking at Tommy all valuable feedbacks and then she will be framing the next question. Let's say, what is today's party material and how you felt? Marfin syndrome, okay, fair enough. Shakila was the first to respond. Yes. Easy. Okay, fair enough. Suzuma. Rosmi is a. Jobita, easy. Good enough. Suzum also saying easy. Good enough. 
Since Sijology is ill, all right, so Marfan syndrome is an easy material, is it? Rishika is ill, Jennifer, Marfan syndrome, Kala is easy, very easy, okay. That Marf Softy, Marfan, Anju Jobin is ill, Vijisri is ill, okay, so it's uh, after some time I'm getting a lot of easy, easy, easy. Ramya, easy, Softy, easy, Saranya, okay. All right, Simin looks like easy. Now, what do you mean by looks like easy? You didn't, you didn't do. Joji is a. Shiji Bharatan is a. Are you not sure because the answers are yet to be fired? Right, fair enough. Now the material will be popping, and all those things you should always remember is. The strategy, everything changes, okay? Part A has a different strategy, different purpose in why it has been given to you in your exam. Part B has a purpose, part C has a purpose. So everything together. There you have the material. Now let's see, what is the strategy? So what is the strategy for part A? The strategy is called skimming and scanning. That means skimming means quick look, scanning means detail look. 15 minutes, 20 questions. Each text, that means four texts divided, but you will have on the basis of common theme, one common theme. The maximum time that you can take in order to do skimming, and skimming is one to two minutes. Or I would say 15 seconds per text. Okay? So you have to ensure that you are, as you practice, it's not something that you achieve it on one day, but as you practice, you should be able to get that done okay so what are the things that you have to underline what are the things that you have to really be cautious about these keywords that you have to underline should be coming it should be there you're not searching for keyword whether marfan syndrome is a condition that affects your connective tissue not like that skimming is not about reading word by word it's about quick reading it and understanding the gist as you read you're going to underline the key words okay Generally, see if I'm going to show you, see Marfan syndrome is a condition, sorry. Marfan syndrome is a condition that affects your connective tissue, connective tissue of the body together, provides support, maintains structure throughout your body, when you detect the gene that encodes the cell, elastic wave, major component of connective tissue, the gene is called the brain and at the end, most of the gas is inherited, autosomal dominant is more occur, occur equally in men and women, the one parent, 25% of cases, new gene defect, known or unknown, not to refer to a variable expression of genetic disorder. In most cases, symptoms. So this is going to be talking about all the symptoms of Marfan disease. So I'm just going to show you how you can look into it. Now when you're taking in text C, this is the table. So table, rows and column headings are important. So active component, target point, biochemical effect, effect of Marfan. So losartin, doxycycline, peri. Pendopril, pervastatin, atenolol, atenolol. So these are all things and as you go, MMP, TGF, MMP, sorry, no need to underline again a word which you have already underlined because I underlined it because MMP2 and MMP1, even though aorta, aneurysm, 2, 3, AC, aortic muscle, protein, root dilation, beta, so all those things. After that, See, these kind of uh, things are also to be noted because this MMP, what is the expansion, TGF, what is the expansion, the beta, everything. So, option D, echocardiogram, I is exam, so this is going to talk about a lot of tests. So, anything with related to test, where are you going to go? You're going to go to text D. Now, I have done my skimming. Now, what are the things? After skimming, you're going to go to the question. So, when you go to the question, be aware there are three types of questions. One to seven, these type of questions is called match the following question, which starts from one to seven. Okay? So, the instruction is A, B, C or D. You are able to use one letter more than once, any letter more than once also. So, this instruction type of question and the number should be by hearted by you because it remains the same as of now okay now going into the question and underlining the keywords because part a is purely keyword nothing else okay don't try to bring your knowledge and all just 
too much of knowledge because there are at times needed knowledge because they might say, see for example, uh, the patient is anemic. Okay, uh, where is it saying about uh, lesser white blood cells? So obviously you know it. Okay, Those, not, not because of that, other than that. Okay, it can be this and all, no need. So underlining keywords are there. The drugs that are used to manage aortic root dilation. So I just underlined root dilation and I know it is there and see. Now let's see. What are the drugs? The drugs are mentioned. Is root dilation mentioned? Yes, root reducing, aortic root dilation, so managing. So it's there. So the answer is C. Understood why keywords? See, consistency, both genders, both genders, only one place. Why? Equal. I underlined it when I was equally in men and women. So, this is called importance. So, when you are underlining keywords, you should be able to tell that in your brain, okay, text A is about this, text B is about this, text C is about this, text D is about this. If you can, part 1 to 7, that means, please okay. Okay? Now, major activities of connective tissue. So, again, the connective tissues and all mentioned where? In A only, isn't it? Because if we really look into connective tissue, holds your body together, provides support, structures, these are all supposed to be your keywords again. So, that's why A. How can one assume the probability to get transmitted to future kids? So, this is something they're talking about future. But generally, it can be done when a test is there. Just, just about. Okay, now let's see. <clears throat> you may want to see the genetic counselor before starting a family. That means you're making babies. Okay, to see what your chances of passing on to your future children. So is that your question and answer? Yes, it is. Okay, the answer is they. Now, significant alterations to your heart, blood vessels, people with this disorder. So, where are they talking about all these? These are all symptoms, isn't it? Significant alterations to your heart and all. So, that means the signs. So, where are they talking about the signs? So, the answer is B. Question 6. Imaging tests used to determine abnormality. So, where are they using imaging technologies, abnormalities and all? So, tests where? D. So, is it in D? CT, MRI, all those things are there. So, D. One's age act as a factor for switching the signs and conditions, signs, symptoms. Should be there in B. Let's see if it is there in B. So, is it anywhere there? It is clearly saying it is evident that the connective happens as your age and then they are talking about what happens. So, that is it. So I have wrapped one, two, seven. Piece of cake, isn't it? Now for the next set of questions, eight to fourteen. These are called short answer questions, where your instruction says eight to fourteen, a short answer, and the instruction says the answer can be as simple as that of a word, a number, word and a number, or a short phrase. The short phrase can be a maximum of two to three words, not more than that. As well. Generally, before they used to give long, long, long sentences as a number. Now they do. Okay, you have to be very much clear about. Okay. Now question number eight. Strategy doesn't change. Underlining keyword and referring with keyword. What? Which is the key artery that supply blood to various organs and tissue? So key artery supplies various and all those things. Which do you think is a key artery? So it should be there somewhere in symptom, isn't it? Now. The wall of the aorta, the major artery that consists of blood from heart to the rest of the body. So, the answer is aorta. A-O-R-T-A. Simple answer. Defect in which gene leads to the development of Marfan syndrome? So, which gene? Development. So, where, where should be it? It should be there in text days. And generally, that is where it is starting. So, it is saying there is a defect in the gene that encodes the structure of fibrin and the elastic fiber, a major component of this gene is called. So what is the gene? You can write it either two ways. One, F-I-B-R-I double L-I-N hyphen one. Or you can write F-B-N one. Anything is an acceptable answer. The beta blocker. So definitely beta blocker. Sorry, not D, C. 
That helps to mitigating hypertension and inhibit aneurysm. So mitigating means lessen hypertension, inhibit means induce aneurysm. So where are they talking about? Inhibiting aneurysm, initiating. So it is there, beta blocker, what's first keyword? So inhibition, lowering blood pressure, mitigating hyper, so the paraphrased option, aneurysm prevention. So the answer is atenolol. A T E N O L O L. Question 11. Confirmation of which condition happened with eye pressure test? Eye pressure test means where? Go straight to D. So, is there anything in the test? Eye pressure? Eye pressure test, okay. To check the condition. What is the condition? Glucoma, G L A U C O M A. The component of connective tissue other than fibrillin. So other than fibrillin, go to A. What is that? We just read other than fibrillin. It is. And the elastic fibers. So the answer is elastic fibers. The two word answer. E-L-A-S-T-I-C-F-I-B-R-E-S. -E Good. I could see all of you are writing the right answers. What is the objective of doxycycline that eventually inhibits advancement of aneurysm? So again, doxycycline, in your, so go to, doxycycline is there, is it? So what is the target point? Now this is what? MM high, MMP hyphen 2. So the answer is, what is the aim point? Aim point means target point. So MMP hyphen 2. Understood? Good. Now for question 14, total number of layers in the aortic wall, so aortic wall I know it is there in B, so how many total walls, there are 3 walls, so the answer is T-H-R-E-E, -E. 15 to 20, these are called fill in the blanks, question where the instructions remain the same as such of Short answer question, but here redundancy. See an article. Let's say an article here. Uh, talking to a dash is essential before embarking on parenthood. Parenthood means making a family to know. So we know that I know where bestowing, the possibility of bestowing. That means passing on to. Okay, bestow means you're passing on to future children. So I know where it is. It is there in C again. Sorry, D again. So, here it is saying you may want to talk to a genetic counselor. See, a uh is already given in the text. Now, if I write again a uh, genetic counselor. Now, because a is written, it has a, if you have repeated it, the answer is wrong. So, be aware of such kind of small, small mistakes. So, genetic counselor should be the answer. It should be G-E-N-E-T-I-C-C-O-U-N-A-C-L-O-R. In echocardiogram, capturing of live images of heart are done by using. So again, test. Where is the test? Echocardiogram. The test uses sound waves to capture real-time images. So the answer is two words again. Sound waves. S-O-U-N-D-W-A-V-E-S. The pattern is called dash, means it occurs equally amongst gender and that can be inherited from a parent. That means one. So definitely it should be there somewhere in A. So what are they saying? The pattern is called autosomal dominant, meaning it can occur equally among genders. The genders means men and equal or just from one parent. One parent is paraphrased as a parent. So that is it. So the answer is autosomal dominant. A U T O S O M A L D O M I N A N T. In dash, we could identify disorders associated with eyes. So somewhere in the test. Yes. So this test check the lens dislocation, cataract, detached retina. So, so problem with the eyes. Which is the test? Slit hyphen lamp exam. The hyphen should be there. S L I T hyphen L A M P E X A M. 19. Transforming growth of factor beta activity get decrease in level of MMP inhibitor. So MMP, beta, everything is with the active component of dash. So again, C. So what are the keywords? 
beta yes that is one beta is there why beta is there transforming growth factor beta is tgf beta this is why i told you you have to always know what is those abbreviations meaning so instead of tgf beta we have given you transforming growth factor hyphen beta so you have to be a bit more cautious mmp yes it is given mmp is given so what is that it is the losartan l o s a r t a n so the ultimate question one in four genetic defects so one in four means out of 100 one part so that means 25 so that's how one in four 25 can be percent it can be number genetic defect case is unidentified because it is also referred to as a dash so 25% is there so one in four is already there so defective unknown and why it is unknown because it is also referred to as variable expression so the answer is v a r i a b l e e x p r e w s i o n excellent now i have wrapped my um softy if you have written if it's a typo then no problem it is not losartan it is losartan s l o s a r t a n shakila 20 or 20 so happy second time keep on appreciating your own capabilities excellent so i have fired my 20 if there is any doubt please do clarify if not please do let me know what are your total scores so rose me also joined in the 20 or 20 excellent good enough good enough selva next time we'll get that's the spirit 19 excellent good enough how about other joji joseph 20 good enough good enough good enough shribu 18 good enough keep it up keep it up sharanya 18 good enough shiji 19 good enough good enough shakti 20 excellent good enough good enough kalai 20 second time get you day by day fair enough again appreciate yourself pat your back and say i'm doing good good enough rishika 20 jinsi jos 20 excellent very very good biji 19 good enough good enough keep it up keep it up suzama 19 good enough i always love your ability to come and accept what you have it's not just like bluffing you are always on the aspect of realistic and saying yeah i got this Fair enough, isn't it? That's how it should be. Rami Aite, Insher in nineteen, Jobita twelfth answer, elastic fibers. The elastic fibers, because it's a short answer question, there is not a big problem. Yeah. So the first time twenty out of twenty, good enough. Gigi twenty out of twenty, excellent. Nineteenth answer is not. No, it is lost. Twentieth answer is um, variable expansion. expression because 20th is 1 in 4 isn't it 25% i think it's the material okay fair enough it is there see that is why see students who have not yet joined our exclusive reading telegram page please do join if you have not yet till that time please do like our page whatever that you are watching so that you will not miss every time even do subscribe to our channel it will be there everywhere we are giving you all these okay so please do Like follow, Kavita eighteen, Jinsi George thank you, Jobita okay, Jobita nineteen, Softy thank you very much, Selva dear Esther thank you very much, new words learning every week, good enough. Am I happy that I'm adding on to your repertoire? Good enough, Sharan Yamanu thank you, Sijji Bharadin thank you so much. As you've all started saying thank you, it's high time on behalf of Nikhil's family. Thank you so much for giving us another lovely day. Until I meet you all, adios from me. God bless you all. Take care. Bye.